the only one hunting, pal. You know what's wrong with Africa? Nothing. It's perfect. Because everything is what it says it is. Nature is predictable. It don't change. And I like that. Mr. Mason, you're here because you've hunted everything from grizzlies to Afghan Orioles. You're here because there isn't a hunting slam you haven't conquered. I'm here for the money. <laughs> well then, uh, I assume you take cash. Why do you want these animals so bad? I don't. They're just... in the way. In the way of what? You don't strike me as a spiritual man, Mr. Mason. But the locals here, they prize talismans, artifacts. Objects that bring good fortune. The local tribe have lost a statue of their ancient king. There was a disagreement with another tribe over cattle. They stole it, broke it into pieces, and hid them in the lairs of some of this region's most vicious beasts. Now, I care deeply about the well-being and comfort of the local people, so I want it returned to them. You want to pay me all that because they think a statue will make it rain? I'll give you a bucket of water for ten bucks. Hope is more valuable than money here. I'll take the money. After you bring me some pieces of the statue. Installments as you go. Give me the list. Mr. Mason, please head over to base camp. It's marked on your map.
Mr. Mason, I fear I should make something clear. The beasts on my list are unique. <laughs> Delicate little flowers, huh? Quite the opposite. Each of these animals are famous here for a reason. They're killers. Alphas of the highest order. These beasts are larger, stronger, smarter than the rest. Maybe even smarter than you. You'd be wise to warm up a little. As a matter of fact, I was already planning to. Point me towards some wildebeest and some buffalo, too. I'm gonna sharpen my skills before I tackle one of your big guys. Very wise. Check your GPS. I'll upload their locations there. <laughs> 